that song when I do my dance. Tunk, tunk, this is throwing paper. Now it's time for the twerculator. It's time for the twerculator. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have an April favorites video. April just seemed to last and last and last. Make it last forever, ever. You wanna sing with mommy? No? Okay, so April lasted forever. I'm so happy that April is over. Let's get into May. Let's get to the summertime, baby. So if you'd like to see everything I was loving this past month, please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I feel like I have quite a bit of things to share with you guys today. Are you guys crooked? Okay, so I'm gonna start with skincare. I feel like April was a huge skincare month for me because I had so much acne this month and so I battled the fine line between being oily and fighting dehydration. So I have so many items I wanna share with you guys. Like you guys know, the Sephora sale was this past month so I picked up quite a few products. The first one I wanna talk about that is back in rotation and I have spoken about it for probably the life that I have been here on my channel. It is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel like I said if you've been following my channel for more than six months six years what have you this is the only moisturizer I use when the weather gets warm you guys know I have extremely oily acneic skin so I have to use products that will not irritate my skin they have to be non comedogenic and I love Clinique's line overall because it's dermatologist tested it's pretty basic in terms of the ingredients they're just just, they're effective at doing their job. They're not super fancy, but you are going to get the results that they guarantee. I love this moisturizer, it's a gel. Now, I always say it does not keep me from getting oily. Nothing keeps my skin completely matte, but it doesn't add to my oiliness and it helps to provide the perfect balance between being oily and having dry skin. So I'm happy to have another one of these. I use it every spring and summer. It's a staple in my routine. If you have oily skin, you will like this. I also like it because for the amount that you get, which is 4.2 ounces, I believe, it's like 28 or $29, so it's not that expensive. Okay, let's also talk about moisture. <laughs> The Good Girl Charlotte. This is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. This is a moisturizer that I started using maybe a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half. I wanna say my girl Pockets and Bows put me on. She's like the first African-American woman that I saw really using Charlotte Tilbury. I believe they sent her some products. She spoke, she actually raved about this for her skin. And she is very particular about the skincare she chooses. So I wanted to pick it up. I've heard nothing but great things about Charlotte Tilbury. You guys, I love this magic cream. Now, like I said, I have really oily skin, specifically in the spring and summer, so I use this as a night cream. And that's one way that I target the products that I buy to actually fit the needs of my skin at the moment. I would never be able to use this during the day. I would be way too oily, it's way too emollient and creamy, but for use at night, it just makes my skin glow. I have the smaller container of this and I used it all up, so I purchased the big girl in the Sephora sale and I'm so happy to have it back in my rotation. It's really helping to just provide a lot of hydration to my skin at night. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is my holy grail ingredient for hydration. If you have dry skin, you need to be using hyaluronic acid. It is just amazing, so I'm really happy to have this in my routine. I've put everybody on this. My mother uses it, my friends use it. The Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream is amazing. And here's a tip, if you have oily skin, you can use it as a night cream because I do know her night cream is like 150, whereas the big uh, size of this container was like 100. In the same category of hydrators, the next mask I have been living for, this is the Teamy Overnight Sleep Mask. And if you saw the video, uh, I think it was called Spend the Day with Me. It was kind of like a vlog style video where I did my entire skincare Sunday routine with you. You will know how much I love this mask. I've now been using it for maybe three or so weeks and it really helps to provide a lot of hydration. This once again has hyaluronic acid in it, which is important and extremely effective at increasing the moisture barrier in your skin. Thus, 
leaving your skin smooth and hydrated. It also has vitamin C, which is a protective antioxidant and anti-aging ingredient. We'll get there in a few uh, minutes, but I really like this as a sleeping mask. So basically you do your normal routine, you put this on last, you rub it into your skin and you leave it on overnight. You will wake up with hydrated skin. Now you guys know I was previously using the Kiehl's Overnight Hydrator. These two products go neck and neck. I really enjoy them both. I love sleeping creams because they're very viscous, they're thick, and they just provide the best glow when you wake up in the morning. So if you are fighting really dry skin, you're gonna like this product. I know it's a little different that an oily gal such as myself likes hydrating products, but we're gonna talk about my acne concerns in this month and why when I'm having acne, I have to use hydrating products. So this is amazing. I do have a coupon code. If you guys would like to try this product out, I will leave the coupon code across the screen and in the description box down below, but I have been really enjoying this. It will be a staple. Okay, let's jump to acne products really quickly. So I got to try out the Hero Mighty Patches as part of my work with Octoly. Octoly is a platform where influencers and bloggers alike can sign up to get to to review products for free to share with your audience. So I've been enjoying using the service because it provides me with more content for my Instagram. If you're looking for all the reviews of the Octoly products, they're all on Instagram. So I hope you guys are following me on Instagram. I actually just hit 5,000 subscribers last night. So I want to stop and thank each of you who follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate it. I like increasing my followers on Instagram because I like that my community is growing, but I am not someone who's like, oh, I have to be popular. I mean, honestly, I just wanna get to 10,000 followers so that you guys can have swipe up links because every time I post something, y'all are like, where's the swipe up link? Where's the link? And I'm like, I don't have a swipe up link because I don't have 10,000 followers. I wish Instagram would do away with that, but that's neither here nor there. So everything I talk about that I receive from Octoly, you can find all the reviews on my Instagram. And I'm always gonna be honest because I don't care if they send it to me or if I pay my last dollar for it. I don't want you guys to waste your money. Now, of course, my review is subjective because it's my review, but I'm always gonna give it to you real. I love these products. So I actually received this one, and this is the Mighty XL patch. This is a larger surface patch for areas of your skin that you're experiencing acne and or mask me that are like a cluster. I tried this, and I will insert a picture. Basically, it's like a little pack of patches. These are what they look like. You leave it on your skin for at least six hours. When you remove it, you will see the sebum, oil, dirt, and bacteria on the little sticker. So I really enjoy these. And a few of you ladies told me that you've actually tried these out and you enjoy them as well. So I loved it so much that I headed to Target and I picked up the Mighty Original Patch. So these are a smaller version. Now, after buying these, I probably won't repurchase them because I get acne every day. Because I have to wear a mask and I'm leaving the house more, I get a bump, a new acne bump every single day because I'm always wearing my mask. So I probably won't repurchase the originals just because they're very small. This is the size of them, the little yellow stickers. And I get too many cluster bumps. So yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase the original, but I will forever repurchase the Mighty XL patches because they're so effective at removing dirt, oil, sebum, bacteria from your pores, specifically if you have acne. And I like these because I can wear them prophylactically to prevent maskne. I just, you know, from my cheekbone to my jaw to my other cheekbone, it's just acne and it's just hyperpigmentation and you know, it is what it is. So because I've been getting so much acne, I have to use so many hydrating products because a lot of the products that I use for my acne to help treat it, they dry out my skin, mainly being salicylic acid. So speaking of which, my number one cleanser this month has been my Lather Blemish Control Cleansing Gel. And this is a really effective cleanser. It has witch hazel and aloe. It's very soothing. This is an herbal cleanser to help blemish prone or acneic skin. You guys, 
I have been using this every day. I like switching up my cleansers depending on what I'm actually going through in my skincare life that week. So if I have a week where I'm really oily and acne prone, I'm using this. If I have a week where I'm just very dry, I'm using my First Aid Beauty Cleanser. If I have a week where I am normal, what was the cleanser I was using? Pineapple Enzyme Josie Marin Gel Cleanser. But I've really been enjoying this for acneic skin. It has been perfect. It's very gentle. It feels so cooling on the skin. So I've really been loving that. The next item, if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my first reaction using this product, you're gonna find this so funny. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. You guys know part of my quest to be more sustainable is to not waste too many resources. Now, I am not perfect. I use paper plates because I don't like doing dishes and I cook two and three meals a day. So, I'm not perfect, but I feel like if I can do my part, I'm doing my part and that's what matters. So I stopped using makeup wipes this past month and I purchased the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm during the Sephora sale. If you haven't seen that video, my haul, I will link it down below. This is amazing. The only problem with this, and it's not a problem, it's just a me problem because I'm OCD. I have really oily skin. So the last thing I wanna do is apply an oil to my skin. So this is a balm and when you apply it to your skin, the heat of your skin warms it up and it turns into an oil. Then you can wash it off. Now, during the process, I look like a Noompa Loompa. I always share it on my Instagram. I play the Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo because I look orange, because I've melted all the makeup on my face into an oil, but it is effective. Now, one of my beauties on Instagram actually gave me the idea, and let me find my spatula, to purchase a skincare spatula, and I will link this down below. Not only do I not like the feel of oil on my skin, I also don't like digging my finger into a container. I also don't like messing up the smoothness of a texture of a container because I'm OCD. So I picked up this spatula, and she also said that this is great because you don't contaminate your skincare, so I think I'm gonna pick one up from my Charlotte Silbury Magic Cream as well. So these two products used together, love it. I now no longer use a makeup wipe and I just feel like I'm doing my part to help save our planet. If you still use a makeup wipe, I am not judging you, I get it. I use makeup wipes for over a decade, but I'm now a cleansing balm gal and I'm loving it. Okay, let's talk more about cleansing. These are my Clean Skin Club towels, my Bamboo Towels XL. And I will take a cloth out. So, you guys know I discovered the Clean Skin Club Clean Towels last year from my girl Christian on Instagram and I was hooked. I'll link the video, the vlog that I did down below where I first tried them. I, I'm always honest, I did not want to like these, okay? Now, I'm somebody that doesn't mind, oh, what's that song? When I do my dance, tum, tum, these is throwing paper. Now it's time for the twerculator. It's time for the twerculator. It's time for, okay, I'm living for those reels on Instagram, just FYI. But anyway, I'm not someone who likes to repurchase products. Like, you know how when you're shopping on a store and they're like, oh, auto replenish? She is not that girl. I don't want anything on auto replenish. I don't wanna have to constantly buy anything over again. But when I tried these single use towels, I was hooked. Recently, Clean Skin Club came out with a bamboo version because these are made of bamboo, which is one of our most renewable resources. So these are sustainable, which I love. I always thought the OG white towels were a bit wasteful, but they just feel so good on the skin. So the new bamboo towels, I did review on my Instagram. So I will link that post down below if you wanna see my review between these and the OG white. I decided to only purchase the OG whites from now on because because they are more sustainable. I like the white color of the OG towels, but like I said, I'm trying to do my part. So yeah, I also have the coupon code for these if you would like to try them, I will link that down below. The reason why, ooh, the reason why I started using these towels is I have acne prone skin. And so using a traditional washcloth, I was buying the Ritz Carlton washcloths because those are my favorite. They're plush, they're thick, they're white. I love them, but I, is anyone else like this, I hate the smell of a damp washcloth the next day. So I was having to wash my towels so often, which meant I had to buy so many. So I love that every day I can use a new towel
towel and I don't have to worry about it smelling nasty, harboring mildew and bacteria. So that is why I love these. I have put so many of you lovely ladies onto them and gentlemen, you always tell me on Instagram, I'm an ambassador for them, but I really use these and I really repurchase them with my own money because that's how much I believe in them. So because I like the bamboo ones and they are more sustainable, I will be purchasing those. Okay, makeup. Let's talk about lashes. And I feel like I already spoke about these lashes last month, but let's talk about them again. These are the Eyelore Pro Magnetic Wispy Lashes. I'll link them down below. Once again, I reviewed these as part of Octoly and I'm obsessed. Now, I am someone who previously was not wearing lashes because I don't like fumbling with them. But these use a special magnetic liner. So if you can apply liquid eyeliner, you got these. You just apply three coats. You let it dry between each coat and then you pop your lash on, smush it into place and it's effortless no dealing with glue. So even though I know how to apply a traditional false lash, I am using these forever because they're so easy. You pop them right off, they stick together so you don't have to worry about losing them. So shout out to Eyelore. I am obsessed. If you guys see me wearing lashes now, these are the lashes I'm wearing and they're just everything. Oh, I have one more skincare item. This is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Combination Antioxidant Containing 15% L-ascorbic acid, 1% alpha something, and 0.5% ferulic acid. So this is a vitamin C serum from Skin. Suitables. And every time I post this on Instagram, you guys ask me about it. I'm supposed to be doing a video in collaboration with Skin SkinCeuticals, but they have not sent the rest of the items. So it's gonna be a really fun video. I have like an experiment that I'm going to share with you guys, but they haven't sent the products. Hopefully they send them, I don't know. But until then, I will be raving about this vitamin C because it's amazing. Now, I am gonna tell you guys, it's about $160, super expensive. Probably the most, it's definitely without a doubt the most expensive item that I use topically on my skin in my entire routine. Now, do I think you need to spend this much on a vitamin C product? No, but is it better than my Sadara skincare vitamin C? Yes. Now I spoke last month, or was it this month? Maybe this month, in my trash haul, which was my empties haul, and I'll link that down below. I spoke about how I tried the Sunday Riley vitamin C and I thought it was so expensive, but I love the way it made my skin feel and look. This is just like the Sunday Riley vitamin C, but probably double the price. So I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this. I do like that I only need the tiniest amount. I've been using this for probably a month now and I enjoy it, but it's expensive. I will say this, the quality of your vitamin C matters. So I'll just leave it at that. But hopefully I'll be able to do the video for you guys if I ever get my items from SkinCeuticals. So yeah. <laughs> okay, the next makeup item I've been loving this month is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick, and this is the Hot Lips 2 in Glowing Gin. And can we appreciate the packaging? So I've really been loving this lipstick, you guys. I don't know what it is. I've been loving a lipstick that's not matte. So Glowing Gin is the most beautiful, like luscious nude with warm undertones. It just makes you look amazing. I'll insert a picture from Instagram wearing this lipstick. It is my favorite. I did receive this from Charlotte Tilbury, but you guys know I don't care. I'm gonna be real and this is my new favorite nude lipstick, specifically for the warm weather because I already have a tan because I'm always outside. It just looks so glossy and it makes your lips just look fabulous, darling. Okay, the next item. I do want to talk about it because I'm wearing it today and like you guys saw, I had to retouch my makeup. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade number two. I love this powder. I have it on today as my translucent setting powder. I got the shade two. It's translucent, but it has a tint to it. So if you're around my shade, you could use number two or three. I just didn't want to add too much color because I didn't want to look orange. I like this. I just feel like it makes me look a bit oily and I have to blot more often. So one day I'm going to do half of my face in the Charlotte Tilbury powder and half of my face in the Laura Mercier because I feel like the Laura Mercier keeps me matte longer, which being extremely oily, I need that. But I love not having to use a loose powder because I'm OCD and I don't like messes. And I love this product overall. I just, I'm thinking that it's making me oily, but I will do the experiment and let you guys know on Instagram. But other than making me oily, I believe I'm loving this. It's a nice fine milled powder. It's a pressed powder, but I love this so much. 
Next is my Becca bronzer. I also received this as part of Oxley. Like you guys, if you are an influencer or a blogger and you are not using Oxley, I will link it down below. I don't think it's a referral link, but sign up. Okay, it's amazing. So this is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer and this is the shade I Panama Sun. I have been using this bronzer for the past month. I love it as well. I didn't use it today, but I do love it. I also reviewed this on my Instagram and I will link that down below. You guys know I'm a bronzer whore. I love bronzer. I wanna be tanned all the time. I wanna look tan, I wanna look sun-kissed, and bronzer just warms up my complexion really nicely. It gives me nice dimension in my face without me having to use contour because I just don't care to apply all those steps. So I've really been liking this. The only thing is that Becca is going out of business in September. So if you like any products from Becca, go re-up on it now because after September, they will be gone. And I'm so sad about that because the foundation that I'm now wearing is Becca. <sighs> their Snapdragon blush is amazing. Their highlighters are amazing. But I had to share because I am still really enjoying this blush and luckily this will last me way through September. So this would not be a favorites video if I didn't share this next item with you. And I'm actually turning it right side out because I wear this every day pretty much. Like it is my cast in. This is the H&M balloon sleeve dress that I featured in my H&M haul this past month. If you follow me on Instagram, I wear this all the time. It is the most comfy, easygoing dress. This is a size extra large. This would fit probably a 14 to an 18. I'm a 16 right now, but this goes up to XXL. So if you're anywhere from like an 18 to a 22, 24, you might be able to fit the XXL. This is such an easy breezy dress. I love it. I have since purchased it in other colors, but it has since become my favorite. I also belt it to give me more shape and I am obsessed. Okay, my next clothing item is the sports bra that I received from Yvette Sports this month. I'll also insert a photo of myself wearing it on Instagram. You guys, I love it. I'll put the name across the screen. It's a light support sports bra, but now that I don't wear a regular, like I'm wearing a regular bra today to film, but just around the house day to day and working out, if I don't have a meeting or an appointment, I'm not wearing an Elomi bra, which are my favorites. These are so comfortable. Now, you guys know I have a partnership with Yvette Sports. This video is not sponsored, but I live in these. Live in them. I've recommended them to so many of my friends. They love them. The fabric is so comfortable and soft and stretchy. This actual bra has removable pads, but it has this seam in the middle, so the pads don't get all jumbled around, which I love. I like having a pad though, because I don't like my nipples showing, but I love their sports bras because they are size inclusive. I take a size 3XL plus. Be sure if you're gonna shop Yvette Sports to check out their sizing chart. I will pop it up on the screen. I don't wear a 3XL in anything else in my closet, but, <laughs> to encompass my 38 double G UK chest size, I have to take a 3XL D through F, which is now their sizing, it's called like a 3XL plus. So I love these bras. This is my new favorite. I love that it also has black in it because it matches my other new favorite pair of leggings. <laughs> so their For A Better Day leggings are my favorite. They are comfortable. They're the most comfortable fabric. They're high support, they're high waist, they are sustainable. They're made from 75% recycled fibers and I love them. So they sent me a new pair and I'll put the name across the screen. The only difference between these and the For A Better Day sustainable leggings is that these have mesh parts on the bottom. I'll insert a picture of myself wearing them on Instagram. I love these leggings so much, you guys. I live in Yvette Sports. I probably have 12 pairs of leggings. It's all I wear. I buy them with my own money. I wait the week plus for shipping because that's how much I believe in them. Even if I weren't being sponsored, I would purchase them because they just make me feel so confident because I look nice and I just, I feel great. So shout out to Yvette Sports. This video is not sponsored, but if you would like to check them out, I'll leave my coupon code across the screen or down below. You can either save 15 or 20% and I just can't get enough. 
Let's talk about some miscellaneous items. The first is going to be this water bottle. Shout out to my girl, Truly Simply Kiara. Uh, she's actually my friend outside of YouTube as well. I will link her YouTube channel down below though. She shared one of these bottles, not the same exact one, but one similar on her Instagram. She has been using one of these bottles for probably over a year. And I decided since it's getting hot now, I want to increase my water intake. You guys know for the past five or so years, I stopped drinking sugary beverages. I used to be an apple juice addict. So I pretty much only drink coffee and water except for a libation if it's like the weekend or if I go out, which is like twice a month. But this really helps me get all my water intake in because give me a nice new water bottle and I will drink more water because I like pretty packaging, I'm just being honest. But I like that this has a really nice top handle because when I'm leaving for my appointments, when I'm going on walks outside, I can take it with me and it helps me get through my day. I also have some food favorites this month. The first are these Snyder honey mustard and onion pretzels. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed you guys. Now you know that I'm no longer on keto, so I'm enjoying eating carbs. And it's so interesting, this past month, I was working out probably half the week and I've lost about five pounds, but it's because I'm really just using portion control, being active more when I can, little ways like just walking around my house or going for walks or not using valet, parking farther, things like that. But I'm enjoying eating carbs now. I am having so much fun being able to cook for my family and not deprive myself of the things I really want. These pretzels have been coming home with me every week, so I've really been loving those. There's an ice cream I've been excited about that I have purchased this month. It's the Target brand, uh, I think it's called the Market Farms or something. I'll insert a picture on the screen. Caramel Mousse Track Brownie Ice Cream. You guys, go out and purchase it. Go to your Target, do a drive up, do a pickup, run to Target. It's the, it's so soft. The brownie chunks in it are so good. The caramel is so good. And I'm not someone who's a big caramel lover, but that ice cream, like you see how excited I am? The ice cream is good. Now, I know what you say. Oh my gosh, it's actually a loss of weight. I did. I lost about five pounds this month and I still ate ice cream. I'm just not overeating. I'm being mindful of what I'm putting into my body. I'm not denying myself of that ice cream because it's too good. So please, if you like ice cream, if it's hot where you live and you like a nice treat, definitely try that out. And just let me know on Instagram. You're gonna love it, okay? Thank me later. <laughs> Okay, now I do wanna start sharing YouTube channels, newer channels specifically, that I'm finding and loving because I'm just gonna be honest, there are not a lot of channels larger than mine that shout out smaller channels. I don't know if it's just like a popularity thing or a numbers game. <sighs> I'm not someone who judges a channel by how many subscribers they have. So with that being said, I feel like a lot of people don't share smaller channels because they feel like, oh, it's a smaller channel, it doesn't matter. I don't think that way. Just because you only have 50 or 500 or 5,000 subscribers, that places no weight on the quality of content that you provide or how you're able to help people. So I want to share these channels that I've been loving. The first is Angela Marie's World. And I have to give a shout out to my sis, Severe. You guys know I love Severe. She shared Angela's channel. She is a part of the Salad Crew, which the Salad Crew is like, what I want to be when I'm in my 40s. Now, I'm not sure how old these women are, but when I envision a 40 plus woman who is just fabulous, living her life as she pleases and happy, I envision the salad crew. I don't even know the salad crew, but I love them. So Angela's part of the salad crew, so I automatically knew I would like her. She focuses a lot on lifestyle, fashion, luxury, cooking. Like, I am that woman, okay? You wanna know how to get and keep a man, feed him, okay? So she's always sharing recipes, she's sharing drink recipes, meal ideas. I love everything like that. I don't like cooking, but I'm always cooking. So I've really been enjoying Angela's channel. Um, I just, I love her. I love her. She also shares luxury. I love luxury. So definitely check out Angela Marie's channel. I will link it down below. Also, Brown Girl Lux. I don't know how I found her channel. Maybe, I wanna say she mentioned me in a video and someone told me, so then I went to go watch her channel and I loved her. Once again, a fellow, like, I don't know how old she is. She might be in her 30s, she might be in her 20s, she might be in her 40s, I don't know. But she's an African-American woman who likes luxury. 
That's me. So if you are an African-American woman or not, and you like luxury, check out Brown Girl Lux. She's really sweet. I connect with her. She loves fashion, beauty, luxury. Once again, those are all things that I like. So if you like any of those things, definitely check her out. And I love all the fabulous pieces that she shares. So definitely check out Brown Girl Lux. I will link her channel down below. Also, Bonita Brewington, adore her. I wanna say I found her channel because she comments on my videos. Like, here's the thing. If you guys want me to subscribe to your channel, comment. Because if I see someone who has a picture that looks like they would have a channel, I'm gonna click on your picture. And if I like your content, I'm gonna subscribe. So Bonita, I love her. First of all, she just, I feel like she is just the sweetest soul. She has this gentle spirit about herself. I just adore her. She also shares tips about being, I wanna say she's 40 plus, because I wanna say she shared some tips about being 40 plus that I have enjoyed because I'll be 40 plus one day. She shares luxury, fashion, lifestyle. Once again, I just resonate with her. She is just a beautiful woman inside and out. And if you are into those topics, go follow Benita Brewington. I just adore her. Also, my girl, Chloe, you guys know I adore her. I met her through Instagram, YouTube, email last year. She told me she started watching me during the Porsche Panamera and um, I helped her with her makeup game. I love that. I love hearing that I can help you guys because that is why I share. I wanna be able to help somebody. So she told me that I helped her with her makeup. She does a fabulous job, by the way. She has put me on to so much fashion, okay? She's also been one of the most generous supporters ever. I love Chloe. She has a channel, it's called Chloe's Corner. Check it out down below. She has put me on so many fashion items. She put me onto the Zara fragrances. She made me try the Zara apple juice mixed with the Baccarat Rouge by 40, amazing. She put me on Zara for big girls. Amazing. So check out Close Corner, um, friend. You just know how much I love you. Like, when I can travel, I'm coming. I I love you. I love you like a cousin. You are, you know my love for you. So definitely check out Close Corner. I will link her channel down below. And the last love that I want to share, her channel name is Southern Chic Shopaholic. Once again, she just feels like a cousin. She just, she is so sweet and kind hearted. She focuses on fashion and a little bit of luxury as well. She has some nice pieces, but she has helped me up my fashion game. I purchased the balloon dress, maybe she spoke about it, but she shares a lot of H&M hauls. She is plus size, but she shops straight size. That's how I started shopping straight size as well but I love her fashion sense she doesn't just go with what's trendy not that there's anything wrong with that she has her own unique style and she has influenced me to think outside the box so I wanted to give a shout out to you girl I adore your channel I'm tuning into every video because I'm always taking something from it and you're just so kind-hearted so thank you for being you so those are all the ladies channels that I wanted to share this month I'm gonna do this every month because I believe in helping people who deserve to have a bigger audience. I know a lot of times, like I said, people look at the size of a channel and they judge it. And no, I'm here to tell you, these ladies are fabulous and kind-hearted and beautiful inside and out. And I'm just so happy to connect with them through the internet. So definitely go follow those ladies. And you guys, that is the end of my April favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of the items that I shared you were loving as well, or what do I need to look into for next month. I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching, and I will see you next month. Bye.